Hello dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam and today we're doing a bit of a unique class. This is a little flow for tap dancers. So of course as tap dancers, all the work is, most of the work I should say, is pretty much happening in the lower body. You need to have super strong calves, super strong uh, extensors through the feet, strong ankles. So that's exactly what we're really gonna focus on in this class, as well as stretching and finding a little bit of length and release through the lower body. So one prop or something to consider for this class is you will need some sort of step. So maybe a stair or if you have a block nearby. Um, I'm going to be using this very old aerobic step. I think this is my mom's from perhaps the 80s, but regardless, some sort of level that you can stand on so we can do some heel drops and heel raises, which will come in a bit later. So once you've got your step, we've got our mat, we're ready to go, we're gonna get started. So. You're gonna start in a seated position. Just take your feet forward into a piped place. And you're just gonna roll your ankles in any direction, nice and easy. You can hear mine are snapping and popping here. Totally normal for me. Perhaps yours are doing the same. And whatever direction you're going, just reverse it. And you might wanna stretch and flex through the toes here as well. Spending a lot of movement, just sort of waking up the ankles, waking up the feet, waking up the toes. And from here, let's just stretch through the feet, feel that point and flex. And again, stretching through the feet, fully pointing, fully flexing, and just shake the feet out. Really relax the ankles, let the feet flop. And from here, coming into a seated position on your shins, sitting on your feet. You're just gonna take your weight back into your hands, lifting the knees off the floor, and right away you are aiming to feel a nice big stretch in the front of your ankle. This is gonna be a subtle move and it won't take long or very much force really to feel that stretch. Just try to really release, breathe into the stretch here. And we'll let that go. Now from here, you're going to just separate your knees slightly, so they're just in line with your hips. And then from there, you're going to take your hips and place them off of your heels. So we're sitting in between the heels. So your feet are on the outside of your hips here. And if your butt doesn't come all the way to the floor, you may just wanna place a cushion or a block underneath to put something in between and fill that gap. So wherever you are, just gently place yourself. And if you feel any kind of pain or discomfort in the knee, just skip this one, it's not worth it. But basically, we're just trying to, we're trying to rotate the knees in a different way to help keep them supple, help keep them healthy. So this is saddle position, which is what we're trying to achieve here. And just sitting here in this position might be enough of a stretch, enough of a compression. If you'd like a little bit more, you can walk yourself out as far as you can. You can take this all the way to the floor. It's not a place that I feel very comfortable, so I'm gonna hang out right here. But find the variation that works for you. Again, this is really, really just for the health of your knee joint here. This is more of a yin yoga pose that we're incorporating. We're not gonna hold it for quite as long as we would in a yin class, but just good to introduce it here in part of our warm up. We'll take one more deep breath from wherever you are. And then we'll just slowly, if your hands were extended, walk your hands back into a fully upright position and then move the block if that's what you would use. And you're gonna bring your knees back together, this time tucking your toes underneath you, which should feel really good after those couple of stretches, and sitting back on your toes. Again, if you need a block underneath your hips here, feel free to use that. So feeling this toe squat, you might feel a rather intense stretch through the soles of your feet. I know I do. We're gonna intensify it even more by just extending your arms up overhead and then taking an exhale, twisting to the right, arms directly in front and behind you, and then inhale back to center. Exhale, twisting to the left, inhale to center. You might start to feel your feet burn ever so slightly. 
It's a good burn, I promise. And exhaling on your twist. Inhaling back to center last time. Exhale, twist. Inhale to center. And exhale, twist. Inhale to center, we'll bring the hands down to the mat, release your toes, and just gently tap the tops of your feet back to the mat. And you're gonna tuck your toes once more, this time to send your weight back, so we're coming into a little crouch, and then you're gonna shoot your tailbone up towards the sky, finding a nice forward fold here. And let's take a plie, bending through both knees, try to relax your neck, and stretch. And again, plie, and stretch. And from here, you're gonna plie, roll up through your spine, nice and juicy, coming all the way to stand. And from here, you're gonna bring your big toes together, heels about an inch or so apart behind you. And you're gonna bend your knees, brush your fingertips to the mat, sitting up into a chair position. And from here, we're going to come in and out dynamically up from this chair position five times. So from here we're going to push up nice and powerfully and then take it back down for one. Push up, try to realign your hips right underneath you and back down for two. Pushing up, squeeze those glutes, back down for three. Push it up, down for four. Last one, push it up and down. Now from here, really feel that your weight is going right over top of your first and second toe as we lift the heels off the floor. Keep your head at the same height, lower them back down. Again, lift and down. Lift and down. Feel your core nice and strong here. Four and down. Last one. Take it up for five and down. And from here, push yourself to stand. Let's bring your hands together in front of your heart. Let them rest by your sides. And at this point in the class is when you're gonna need your step. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring mine over here. If you need to reposition yourself to be near the stairs or anything like that, go ahead and do that now. And I'm gonna use, you may need something for balance. I'm gonna use the fireplace here kind of as my bar. If you're on the stairs, you can use a railing, um, but wherever you are, make sure you do have somewhere for support because this is very tricky for balance. You're basically just gonna go onto your step, placing your toes on the step, and then allowing your heels to sink down lower. So this really is a very intense stretch for the calves. And then right away, you wanna feel that your hips are right aligned underneath you, belly button pulling in, spine nice and tall, so we're really aligned through the body. And I'm just gonna place my opposite hand on my hip. And then from this deep position with my heels lower than my toes, I'm gonna snap myself up to releve. So rising all the way up. And then again, lower the heels down lower than your toes and push it up for two. Take it down, push it up for three. Down, up for four. How's your core doing? Down, up for five. Feel as you rise that your weight is right in between your first and second toe. So we're not sickling through the ankles at all here. The ankles are staying nice and strong, supported underneath you. I believe this is number eight. Lower, lift it up high for nine. All the way down, up for 10. And let's do two more, just for fun. Lifting on up and down and up and take it down. Let's just sit in this stretch for a moment. Feel nice and long through the back of your calves. And then we're gonna come on out off your step, moving that off to the side. And we're gonna make our way into a downward dog. Again, releasing your heels towards the floor, finding a length through your calves. Notice how close your heels can be towards the mat. And from this position, let's start to paddle through the feet, alternating right and left. 
And from here, you're just going to take your right foot, step it forward between the palms, spin your back heel so it's at a 45 degree angle, and really focus on that heel. Feel that it's gro grounding in towards the floor. And then you're going to lift the arms up overhead, finding a warrior one. So you want your hips and shoulders square right in front of you, arms reaching up overhead, and again, feel that back heel grounding in towards the floor, long through those calves that we just worked really hard on. Take two more deep breaths here. Feel long through the front of your left hip. And we're gonna transition, lifting your back heel now. Take your left hand to the floor. Just finding a nice, easy twist through the body. You might wanna rock forward and back just to lengthen through the back of your left leg. And we'll bring the right hand down, making our way back to that same downward dog. And again, pulsing through the feet, right and left. And lifting your left leg now, take it between your palms. Back heel, 45 degrees, lifting on up. Again, feel nice and long through the front of your right hip. Feel that right heel grounding into the floor. So we're super supported, feeling long through the calf, long through the Achilles. The outside of your foot is pressing into the mat. Hips and shoulders are square. Taking two more deep breaths. And from here, taking yourself down, easy twist. Shoulders stacked on top of each other. And again, we might just wanna rock forward and back. Coming in and out of a stretch through that Achilles. Nice and easy. And we'll come back to that downward dog. So left hand down, left leg back. And then from here, let your knees come down to the mat. Toes together, knees apart. As we just melt forward into a nice easy child's pose. Breathing nice and deep. From here, let's slowly walk your hands back up. Bring your knees back together. Again, coming to that same crouch, so tucking your toes, send your hips back. Let your heels relax towards the floor so you don't wanna hold tension through your ankles here, so holding yourself up. Just let that go. Relax your heels, lengthen your Achilles. The front of your ankles here should be relaxed. You can go ahead and feel them for yourself. Make sure that those tendons aren't Tight and engage. Try to actively let that go. Let's relax your head in between your knees as well. Making this nice tight little ball, finding length through the back of your heels. And then just as we did earlier, you're gonna send your tailbone up to the sky, finding this nice deep forward fold. And we'll take two plies. So first one, nice deep bend through the knees and stretch. And again, nice big bend through the knees. Keep your heels on the floor, but see how deep you can plie and stretch. Last time, we're gonna plie to roll up to a standing position, nice and slow through your spine. Head and shoulders are the last thing to recover. And I will turn to face you to say thank you so much for doing this class with me. I hope your calves and ankles and feet are feeling nice and strong, ready for whatever class or rehearsals you've got later on today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave as I release new videos for dancers every single Friday. And that's all for me. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the mat again soon. Bye.